I'm Ron Heck, I'm a farmer from Perry, Iowa, and I raise uh, soybeans and corn in a two-year rotation. The first time we tested for SCN, we had egg counts as high as 30,000 in half-acre grid. We also had some areas where they were lower, but the unexplained yield loss that I was having uh, in those areas where it was 30,000, the beans were not growing very well, not yielding very well, like uh, 30 bushels an acre. There isn't anything you can do to get rid of your SCN right away. It's a process. It's going to take six years to do that. You plant a PI-88, 788 resistance variety, and then go to corn, and then come back with another PI-88, 788 resistance, and go back to corn, and then come back with a Peking resistance, and go back to corn, and then on the fourth cycle, your yields will be better than you thought possible on the soybeans. With so many PI-88, 788 varieties available, the SCN has started to overcome that resistance, so it's very important to farmers that they use other means of control, including Peking resistance and the new seed treatments that will help with SCN. Their yields will go up. They should not be concerned about the newer Peking varieties. They will make their yields better, not worse, and prevent a bigger problem in the future. My bean fields are healthy now, all over. I don't have iron chlorosis. I don't have the uh, spots that, where the beans look a little sick and the, it's a little bare and there's a weed patch. The beans are healthy and growing everywhere in the field. And my yields have easily gone up for field averages of more than 10 bushels an acre. And in the worst spots where I used to think it was iron chlorosis, those are now the best spots in the field. And in those spots, the yield has gone up 20 or 30 bushels an acre. The last four tests I've taken for SEN egg counts, uh, two said undetectable, one said 100, and uh, another one said 300. If you control your SEN population, your soybean yield will go up. It's as simple as that. And when your yield goes up with healthier soybeans, you'll also get better weed control. So that'll be another plus. If you don't drive down your SCN populations, you're going to keep losing soybean yield and your loss will be a, a little more each year that you do that. With SCN, you lose at least five bushels an acre before you can even see it. By the time you, you've lost 10 bushels an acre, and this is every year, if you lose five bushels an acre for three or four cycles, you have lost a lot of yield. The only way to really know if you have SCN is to take the test so you can beat the pest.